in most cases, when, when you have a signature, it's important to know who actually signed this document. So you need to have some sort of identification. Typically, if you only sign using a scribble on the screen, you don't have this identification. So you need some other means to know who is the person signing the document. This typically could be using an EID. In the Nordic countries, we're using EIDs and we also use these for electronic signatures. And you've already been uh, identified. Some trusted party have identified you, know who you are, and you can reuse this for the signature. It's also possible to do that identification while you're signing. For example, by uploading identity documents and, and taking a self-portrait and comparing that to the document. This, of course, is somewhat more work, somewhat more friction on the user. But still, it's probably not something you do that often. And if the value is high, you really need to know the identity of the signer. Standards are important. There are standards defining how a digital signature is to be constructed. And this is all about trust. You need to know that you can trust the signature, trust the signer, trust that the document hasn't changed. And to be able to have all this trust, you need to know that the, the signed document complies to regulations, complies to standards.